Good evening and welcome to Act America. I'm your host, E. W. Helmick. If this is your first time joining us, thank you very much. Act America was put together in an effort to provide you, the American people, an action item, something that you can take to affect the current change that is crippling our nation. If you're coming back a second time, well, welcome back. Now, Act America shows Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern. Now, we are going to shake that up a little bit. This week, we will not be broadcasting live on Tuesday night. And then next week on June 7th, we're actually going to start our schedule on Sunday nights, and Tuesday nights will be a live broadcast. Now, if you miss a live broadcast, then please tune in right here to uh, Ustream TV and watch any of our archives. And within the next few weeks, we will be pushing these to YouTube as well. So again, thank you very much for joining us. Never before has this country seen the pride and arrogancy that we see today in the presidency. Many months, uh, several months ago, on April 15th, hundreds of thousands of people gathered across the country for tea parties to protest the taxes and stimulus uh, uh, package. The president in the White House issued this statement. The White House says the president is unaware of the tea parties and will hold his own event today. Unaware that hundreds of thousands of people have gathered across the country, not in parks, not in back alleys, but at state capitals across the country. Unaware? I think the president made a very clear statement. I don't care. Now remember who the president works for. The president works for me, and the president works for you, the American people. About that same time, Bill O'Reilly was interviewing Dennis Miller, and I don't remember the topic they were discussing, but Den uh, Bill O'Reilly asked Dennis this question, and he said, uh, he was asking his reaction, uh, the president's reaction to a certain situation. And Dennis Miller said, well, I think we should give the president a wide berth. A wide berth? I don't think so. Now, not that arrogancy in the presidency is anything new, but I believe it's starting to trickle down, and it's trickling down to a level all the way to the state, local, and county levels. So what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to hold that office accountable and all the local offices accountable as well. So our action item tonight is intelligence. And we're actually going to play off this in the next few weeks, but bear with me just for a minute. We need to use intelligence to affect the problem of arrogance. Several people, many people, sent me an email this week. The email was about a couple in San Diego County that had been approached by a county employee and told they could no longer have a Bible study in their home. They were told that if they continue the Bible study, they would be fined. Now the question I have for you watching tonight is, why did you send me that email if you weren't going to do anything about it? Were you hoping that I would actually take action items? Well, I did, and so again, action item tonight is intelligent. Let's break down that story just for a minute. It took me less than five minutes to go to the source and find out if the story was true or not. In the article was the uh, listing for the attorney who was representing this couple. So I called the attorney and I said, is this story true and are the facts correct? And they said it is. Uh, in less than 10 minutes, I had not only investigated the story, but I had written an email out to my viewers telling them that I had done so, and I had posted a blog regarding my thoughts on the story. So breaking the story down a little bit farther, let's take a closer look. The county employee says, you can no longer have Bible studies in your home. It's against county ordinances. The story gets nationwide attention. The media covers it like crazy. The Channel 10 News in San Diego approached the supervisors, uh, the county employee's supervisor, and said, can we do an interview with you? And they, she did an interview. Her name is Chandra Waller. She's of San Diego County's Land Use and Environment Group. Now, she's a pay paid employee. Ms. Waller reports to Walter Eckert of the Chief Administrative Office. He, I believe, is also a paid employee. Mr. Eckert is responsible for implementing the policy and directives of the Board of Supervisors. Now, if you don't know where I'm going with this, take a guess. This is Act America, so we're going to take an action item here. We're going to attend the Board of Supervisors meeting in this situation anyhow. We're going to find out what their uh, agenda is. We're going to find out what they stand for and believe in. Now, I'm not saying the Board of Supervisors in San Diego is responsible for the actions of the county employee, but at the same time, 
the responsibility, uh, they implement the policy and directives of the Board of Supervisors. If you don't like what the Board of Supervisors is doing, then you need to run for that office and get them out of office. So do you see the chain of events here? You sent me an email hoping what? That I would be outraged too? Or did you send me an email because you would take an action on items like the ones I just listed down and said, I'm going to take intelligent steps to get rid of this kind of thing. Now, what are you going to do when you get in office? You're going to rewrite the law? Maybe so. Maybe you're just going to carry out the law in an unbiased manner. If that really is a law and it needs to be enforced, well, wouldn't that apply to poker games and tea parties and just about anything else that's taking place in people's homes in that county? You're telling me you don't have time. You don't have time to run for an office and make that kind of change. I disagree. You have time to email and Facebook and go to soccer games and baseball games. I'm encouraging you to get involved and take the time. So you say, well, I don't know how to do that. I, I've never run for a public office. I'm not talking about thousands of public offices here. I'm saying we need to just uh, uh, infiltrate just a few county offices at that level and then move our way up the state and into the federal. Well, what do you have to be? You have to be 18 years of age. You have to be a resident. You have to have a completion of campaign registration. You have to get uh, 20 to 100 signatures. Code of ethics, understand qualifications. Qualifications are you have to be a U.S. citizen, 18 years of age again. Resident of, uh, in the district, can't have a felony. Strategic thinking would be important. Commitment to public service, good communication skills, respect for others, and patience and perseverance. Patience and perseverance. Here's the bullet point under patience and perseverance. Acceptance that county government is a process that takes time. That success in this unique environment oftentimes come from the ability to build consensus. To build consensus. Well, isn't that what is happening around the country today? Is consensus has been built and now offices and people in those positions are taking bold, bold, arrogant steps to tell us what we can and can't do without remembering that the reason they're in the office is because they work for us, you and I, the American people. Now, a couple things might start to happen. You're going to quit sending me emails on these issues because you're afraid that I'm going to come back and throw it in your face and say, so do something about it if you're outraged. Or you're going to send me the emails and you're going to copy it with some kind of explanation of what action item you took what kind of intelligence you put in place to understand the situation and take action on it. We're the majority, but it's time to stop being the silent majority. Don't take these positions in an arrogant fashion like our president has done, but be bold. Change the nation from the inside out and watch them run. The task is not small, but I will tell you what the action cannot be ignored. The problem is arrogance. I believe the solution is intelligence. This is Act America. I'm E.W. Helmick. Thank you for joining.